for the Democratic response to all this, we earlier heard from Republican Congressman John Rose. We bring in New Jersey Congressman, member of the House Agriculture Committee and the Blue Dog Coalition, Jeff Van Drew. Nice to see you, sir. Uh, as always, appreciate it. Uh, you're a member of the Problem Solvers Coalition, as I understand it. Uh, problem solved here for the president. He's got uh, big agreements from Mexico to do stuff to try to stop the flow of migrants, and there were no tariffs. What's to complain about? So I'm not complaining. In fact, uh, I'm maybe a little bit of an unusual elected official and an unusual congressman that I don't take pleasure when someone else fails, particularly if they're in our government, because, and quite frankly, if the president fails at something, then we all fail in the country. This seems to have worked out. Mexico should be part of any agreement that we have. Mexico should be helping. Mexico should be part of the process. Um, they have strong borders themselves. They understand the meaning of having a border. And I think the fact that they are now understanding that we're serious about it, too, is helpful. You know, this whole immigration situation from beginning to end has many pieces to it. I believe that all of it could be worked out for the folks that are here and are undocumented, for the DACA folks, the Dreamers, um, and also for the open borders. We need to deal with all these issues in a, in a combined way. And most of all, we really need to have a better immigration system. That's not a Republican no. idea. Or well, a no, no, everyone idea. agrees that it's there's the right a right idea. Everyone agrees there's a problem, Congressman. I guess the question is how to get get to the answer. And as you point out, uh, your perspective on this is, shall we say, unusual. In fact, I, I have not heard any Democrats so far praise the president for how he has dealt uh, with this situation vis-a-vis -vis tariffs, Mexico. And immigration. It begs the question uh, would you support the president going to the brink again? And do you support him as he goes to the brink with China right now on tariffs and trying to get a better deal from the Chinese as well? Well, every situation is different, and you have to evaluate them all individually. And I believe there are other Democrats who, who think that we should do something. Certainly folks, some of the folks in the Blue Dogs, some of the folks in the problem solvers that tend to be more moderate. We just can't have open borders where anybody can come in at any time. I love immigration. I believe in immigration. I believe in legal immigration. Now, as far as China is concerned, we do have to play kind of hard because China, without question, wants to be the number one power in the world. And they, as you know, manipulate their money. They have technologically stolen a lot of yeah. what we have. And they have certainly uh, been a force that's been difficult to deal with. And I think that we have to show them that we are playing for real, that we want to be fair, and what we always say, fair and open trade. There's, that means we get an equal de deal. I don't want the United States to always be at the short end of the yeah. stick. Well, the, pre the, the, pre the president says the very same thing, and he's gotten some criticism for the deal that he made with Mexico to avoid these tariffs in that the language from the Mexicans leaves an awful lot unspecified. It's they're going to take new and drastic measures. They're going to do all these things. A lot of adjectives, and not a lot of hard facts and figures other than the 6,000 troops to the border. Do you think this shows strength to the Chinese or does it show weakness as the China problem sort of dwarfs the Mexico problem as, as it relates to the economics of the country? Well, every time we show strength, I think that is always good if it is but, but was this showing strength or you think the president caved? No, I mean, I think that's showing strength. And I think that, you know, whether it was a long time ago when Teddy Roosevelt said, you know, speak softly but carry a big stick or JFK, um, we've had Republican and Democratic presidents that have understood at times the United States of America must show what I'm going to call intelligence strength, that we have to be thoughtful, but we have to show that strength. Um, this is a real issue. I mean, China and Russia are real issues in the world and really and truly want to move forward and be the powerhouses of the world. All right. And quite Congressman, frankly, I believe it's the United States that should be. Congressman, we appreciate it. We know you're on the Agriculture Committee. Sometime we're going to get to that. We know uh, there's a lot to be done for the farmers across America, no matter what political party uh, they are in, sir. We appreciate you joining us here on a Saturday, putting on a suit when it's nice and sunny outside. We hope you get to enjoy uh, yeah. the rest of the day, sir. I'm going to work at it, and I'm having uh, dinner with my entire family later, which is going to be nice. Well, that, that, is a, that is a very nice thing. We appreciate you taking some time for us, sir. Our best to you and yours. Thank you for having me.